Y'all ready, 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 ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life and we don't take life too seriously. My name is Shireen. I have Dara here and Dara is a dentist and a friend from high school. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Right? <laughs> um, and then we recently like reconnected and today we want to talk about single ladies. I feel like I should like cue the music. Single ladies! I'm single, single, single ladies! I'm single, single, single ladies! She is a 32 year old single woman and I wanted to have her here to kind of talk about her story and her journey. What is it like being single and a little bit older? Older for South Asian right, culture, right. yes. Like I feel like for American people, they're like, oh, you're so young. Yeah, like, You've exactly. got so much time, right? Oh no, yeah. In our culture, it's like, if you're not getting married and and like by right after college, you haven't met that person, there's something wrong with you. My friends tell me and that their parents have been like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing wrong? Or like you're being too picky. Yeah, and especially like for girls in our culture, being 30, anything after that is pretty much you're expired. <laughs> like nobody wants to talk to you. You're getting to a point where childbearing age becomes an issue. Right. It's like they don't want to rush into getting married and then having kids right away. So once you hit 30, it's like downhill for pe girls in our culture, then, which is messed up. I think it's like your looks. I know. People are like, oh, once you hit 30, you're not looking young anymore. And I'm like, we still I think look I young. I was like, we uh, still look young. <laughs> I, I think I look the best I've ever looked. I feel like a part of why I feel like I look the best right now is because I'm super confident. Yeah. And I know what I want. And I'm just like. You're you. Yeah. And I that figured out who I am. And that takes time. Yeah. So when you're single, the biggest issue is most women want to get into something because that you feel like that's the next step of life. Like mm -hmm. you finish school now, you got a job, and you're like, well, all my friends are getting married yeah. now. I have to get married. But for me, I just, timing was a huge issue with mm -hmm. dating. Like you, both people have to be in the right place and right time to kind of talk and discuss what's important to you. And if you don't know who you are, right. it's kind of hard to express those things. You don't, you don't know what you want for your life. And that's the thing you're kind of told from a very young age, this is how life should be. I'll yeah. be honest, I didn't grow up in a family that taught me how to communicate properly, yeah. how to show love properly. So when I was in relationships, I always had those issues and I didn't understand why. And then yeah. I decided to literally do some soul searching by myself and decide to be single for three years as my own choice. And mm -hmm. during those three years, I kind of found myself. And for women, that's more common. I just know a lot of women that will solo travel or they'll try to go figure things out by seeing a therapist, reading books. But I don't think guys do that as much until like later or if someone's pushing them to figure it out. Yeah, and I think especially like in our community, you know, mental health is not really something that yeah. is even like addressed. But I mean, that's like the premise of the show, right? Like yeah. let's communicate, let's like talk, talk about things, let's like figure ourselves out so we can be like better people in society. And then like, I think that you naturally end up attracting. Yes. Ex attracting totally that right person, attracting like the right energy. And then it just like naturally happens. But I know, um, I I've been out of the game for a long time. So like, how is it like dating in general? Okay. <laughs> or like, I feel like the apps and stuff, that so, stuff all fascinates me. So South Asian culture is interesting like to date because I'll date almost any race. I'm open to any race. Um, there are certain things that I do look for in somebody, but I mean, there's South Asian apps like Bill Bill, yeah. which my God, the stories that I hear on Bill Mill are just crazy. But then I've heard really good things. Yeah, I think there's good stories about every which way of meeting. Yeah. You just have to be open-minded. When you're right. closed-minded is when you start picking and choosing and it closes you off to other yeah. people. So be open is right. real, like I think that's extremely, cause you never know where you can meet someone. You never know like who your soulmate is. A lot of girls want to blame themselves for things not working out. Yeah. And it's like sometimes it's not meant to be or right. timing is bad or you guys just bad at communicating and it's okay though like I mean, you're not supposed to get along with everybody. Right. Like, that's not the point of this. Yeah. So it's let it go when something doesn't happen. I feel like um, with Indian, Indian men and women, it almost feels like the guys kind of feel like they have like all the choosing. <laughs> And then the girls need to be like perfect. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yes. Like, there's so much pressure to be like, oh, I can't be like, 
I gotta be perfect, yes. I gotta be proper. Yes. So then these Indian guys like, like me. Oh yeah. And I wanna be like, girl, no, be yourself. Yes. Because if they don't like who you are and if that's who you are, right? Like it's if eventually you, gonna come out. Right. You can't fake it your whole life. <laughs> like that would be terrible. Right. And I would and it's just like don't restrict who you are for someone else because who you are is perfect. Yeah. What you have to offer is perfect. But, and that's the thing though, you have to know who you are before yeah. you get into something. Like I had to, as a single girl, I had to go, like I had weekends a lot by myself doing nothing. And it's kind of depressing when a lot of your friends, like I had two really good friends that found men right at the same time. They like, st those are my like, girls that I'd party so with. Yeah, and, they and, like, you're, and you're like, I feel left out. I know, and I have like no one to hang out with and I was happy for them. They found yeah. great men. I had to learn, I need to make friends that fit my lifestyle. So mm -hmm. I made a ton of new friends, but that to, to make good friends as an adult is hard. You have to have like a good network of friends. Right, you need a community. Yeah. I, I truly believe in that. Yeah. Like you have to have good people around you. Yeah, and you can't, don't hold it in because that makes you feel even more lonely. Your mm -hmm. good friends will listen to you and try to understand and be there for you. But it's a part of the process to learn to be alone. Yeah. Like you have to learn to love yourself Yeah. a lot of the time too. And I didn't really love myself until yeah. I spent time with myself and listen to how myself talk and yeah. cause some of those issues you kind of bring into a relationship if mm -hmm. you can't figure it out. I dated a lot of guys that we had issues communicating. They right. had issues from their past. I had issues from my past. Yeah. So it was one of the, those things I had to heal myself and figure things out on my own. Um, I did a lot of solo traveling. Like mm -hmm. I did a lot of trips by myself, which can be really scary as a single woman traveling the world. I feel like in general, it's like, communicating like if you're like alone if you're lonely right now like talk to people about yeah. it one thing that kind of made things worse is social media social media mm -hmm. is great for things like this but then when everybody's posting about their boyfriends and girlfriends and changing their status up to, yeah all these yeah. big proposals and these big things it's like it kind of makes single people like feel sad that their life isn't like that and right but you got to realize people only post the good things on Facebook sometimes it's like just, it's just, or Instagram or any right, of that stuff yeah. and it, you have to understand that's only part of these people's lives right and it that's something that for a lot of girls especially the younger girls that kind of grew up with this in high school because we didn't we had like we didn't social media yeah. as much so I, I've gone to concerts by myself yeah my friend Chelsea now she's married now but she taught me that <clears throat> mm -hmm. she would buy tickets sometimes and sometimes she'd buy two and she'd convince me but she couldn't find somebody if she really liked the artist you go because you like the art right. don't hold back don't wait till you have a companion yes. to do things like you know your life is to enjoy and you yeah. can enjoy it right now you're putting out amazing energy and people are yeah. like getting attracted to it totally and, agree um the right person will see that and see that light that's coming yeah. from you and want to be a part of that I think being genuine is extremely important don't be someone you're not even yeah. on dating profiles like girls want to put the best picture up and like I always ask guys like what you know what's the worst date that they've ever been on or what have you dealt with as a guy in the dating experience and yeah. they always say like girls don't look like their pictures yeah or they don't really the personality doesn't match how they felt when they were texting sometimes date for fun so you should date just to figure out what you like what yeah. you don't like and yes to try new things yeah. and like if you talk about your intentions early on some guys will be for it some guys won't be don't try to change a guy's mind that is not really looking for something serious you know how you said like date around to like see what you want i think a lot of times people think they know exactly what they want yeah. they want this they want this they want this and there's so many boxes like that you know you're trying to check. yeah trying to check and like I think try to be open-minded. I, I understand like sometimes with culture and like profession, but like you have to think like, you know, what if that person loses their job? Is that what defines them? Just be yourself and yourself is good enough. Whatever that you're supposed to be with, a male, female, whatever. They'll recognize it. They'll recognize it and- Appreciate you for it. And they will be attracted to who you are and- And they'll try to make it work. If you don't feel like someone's putting the effort that you want, it's okay to let it go. Look at what you're asking for. Are you asking for like a big diamond ring and a big house like right off the bat? Those are kind of superficial things. So what are you gonna get in return? Superficial things. Yeah. So you kind of have to look more deeper in what you want, what values. And that's how you were able to talk, like have a relationship like dreams and like where you can talk about your feelings and talk about issues you have and grow in the same yeah. direction. Right. But if you focus on the superficial stuff, that won't happen. Right, because I don't think the superficial stuff are gonna get you through life. No. no. 
not through the um, hard times, even the happy times. Because yeah. then you enjoy the happy times on a deeper level. Right. Awesome. So, thank yay, you so much you. for being here. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching. We do this every single week. And yeah, bye. bye.